108,000 people today. It's the hottest ticket in town, the conference opener between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Penn State trying to snap a two-game losing streak against its rivals from the Big Ten from Iowa. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Graham. Iowa won the toss, electing to receive. And this one is knocked out of the back of the end zone by Dave Kimball. Let's go down. First down and 10. Fred Russell running off the left side of the offensive to the bottom of your screen. Russell again into the boundary. Russell stopped up behind the line of scrimmage by Anthony Adams. That this defensive front for Penn State, the strength of their defense. Michael Haynes, the Big Ten Conference's best player defensively. High snap. Banks has mobility. And Banks has the first down. It's Harrell, a pickup of 17 yards. The Penn State linebacking crew was a bit of a question mark earlier in the season, but they've answered some of those questions. Mark, I think it's a game, if you're a linebacker, you look forward to, because it's not basketball on grass like they had last week against Louisiana Tech. Scott and Gardner on the corners. Meyer and Lowry inside at the safety spot. Lowry getting the start. Seven interceptions this year. Only had six all last season. Yeah, tailback, Bob. He's way back there, about eight, nine yards deep. And they run the same play again. This time, Russell cuts it back. Third down and three for Iowa. Banks with time. Wide open to tight end Dallas Clark with a first down. Russell gets the handoff. Play of the drive. They've run it six times. Passed it twice. Banks in the flat complete. That's Brown with room. Brown knocked it about to the three yard. Jones put to the bottom of the screen. Banks rolls their way. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Jones on the catch. And once again, good looking opening drive for Iowa. First down and 10 for Zach Mills, who is sacked back at the end earlier. Brian Johnson and Tony Johnson, some talented receivers. And the most dynamic player, Michael Robinson, number 12. He doesn't start. <laughs> but there he is. But he is up. in the game right now. That's Robinson in motion, number 12. They give it to Johnson. Right now, the guy they do a lot of things with, Bob. I'm impressed with Gus Felder. They run a play, the quarterback rap play, that's actually a quarterback ISO. They use Gus Felder as the puller. Mills to pass, has a man open, and a catch. Complete. Allow Zach Mills some additional time, and they take advantage of a matchup on the freshman corner, Antoine Allen. game against Penn State a couple of years ago. Mills going up top, into coverage, and almost intercepted. Third down and 10. Ball at the 46. Blitz coming off the corner against Mills, and he releases it incomplete. Passing for 54 yards. A very impressive opening scoring drive. Here's the waggle. And he fires complete. Russell getting to the edge. Fred Russell in space. With a push. Wow. Two tights, two wides. Here's Russell on the cut block. Third down and eight. There's a little jailbreak screen to Jones. And Jones in of 19. Between 40 and 49 yards. And he nails this one to give the Hawkeyes a 10 point advantage. Those hog hats will be out tonight. Who picks Suey? <laughs> First and 10. Mills to pass. Johnson brought down immediately in a fumble. The Hawkeyes have the ball. In the red zone at the 17. Listen. Banks to pass. And brought down at the 20-yard line by Michael Haynes, last week's Defensive Player of the Week of the Big Ten Conference. Second down and 12. Russell. Look at him scoot. Russell! Touchdown, Iowa! The Hawkeyes came to play today. 20 yards into the end zone. pass and then was overruled and was ruled not a touchdown. Here's Johnson, the quarterback. Under pressure. 
incomplete at the 26 yards. Russell tackled behind the line of scrimmage at the 31 yard. Advantage of the depth of that tailback is to go ahead and penetrate on defense and make something happen. Here you see Penn State bring Chris Harrell to safety. He gets in the backfield and makes the play on Fred Russell. Russell brought down by his shoestrings of the three statistics. I think he was something like that. Quoted Shakespeare, was it? The one of the well-read Penn State fans called in and said it was plain. <laughs> and ten after that Johnson run, Mills complete to Brian Johnson. He spreads it around. Reveal little by little of their game plans. Third down and eight. Mills incomplete intended for Brian Johnson. Good coverage. The corner for him. He may want to change. There's so name. many Johnsons on the field. <laughs> <laughs> he may want to change his name after the game. Hank Norris. Two tight ends, two wide outs. Fred Russell. Open to, to your individuality. And more as Joe uh, shows more. I hate to say. First down and 10. Fred Russell flexing his muscle on the last run. Banks. Complete. That one well read by the Usually means passing, and they do. Incomplete. Off the arms of the... Robinson on the pitch to Johnson. Johnson brought down at the 27 and a flag down. It could be a face mask. 57 total yards of offense so far on second down and nine. Mills passing incomplete. Passing down once again. Mills... Complete to Brian Johnson. He has the first split back. Beside the quarterback, and here he comes on to reverse. He's looking to throw it, and he is rocked. Back at the... Third. You knew they had a reverse pass in there with Michael Robinson. First time they've looked to do that this year. Mills downfield, and it's picked off by the Hawkeyes. Derek Pagel. Thanks. Has a man. Clark. First down at the Penn State 22-yard line. Thanks on the quick three-step drop complete to hit the football. Third down. down and nine. Penn State puts in into the end zone for Hinkle. Touchdown! He caught it! A 22-yard strike and Banks. Really quiet here at Beaver Stadium. Johnson brought down at the 14 and a second down and 15 to toss to Johnson into the boundary. Well, so you want to get a first down, but don't give that ball back to Iowa on this side of the field. Mills contact and a flag. The intended receiver interference on the defense, 15 yards from the previous spot. Backs out of the offset eye. Bills sold the fake. Has a man, Johnson. More contact and another flag down. DJ Johnson. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yards. Yeah, college football, Mark. You like it? I like it because I don't like to see a defensive team be that penalized for pass interference. Bills fires. They're going to say it's going to need a lot of reps to perfect. Here's Mills. Johnson brought down right near the... Not very patient, I don't think. Not working against him here in the first half. That's the tight end, Casey Williams. He lines with the ball at the 28-yard line. Mills looking at the out-and-up pattern. Has Johnson. What a catch! Touchdown, Penn State! First of all, you're going to see a pump fake right here by Zach Mills. Brian Johnson going deep. Once again, that matchup right there on D.J. Johnson. He actually had D.J. Johnson beat deep. Zach Mills under 10. We have seen Johnson quite a few times. Oh, my God. I'm changing my name after the ball game. Russell brought down by Penn State. Lose, use their last time out here before the half. That's Russell, and that's exactly what they do. Russell... Not thinking about Penn State timeouts, though. Yeah, huh? What about next week when they play the back? 
First and ten, Banks back to pass. Has Clark. Clark still on his feet and finally brought down to the 37-yard line, and now from 55 yards out. Plenty of leg on this. It's good! 13 consecutive field goals for Kading, and that's a career long. And what a play to take into the locker room for Kirk Ferentz, the head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes. They lead 26 to 7. It's a game of inches, and that time, well, the bounce just happened to go the Hawkeyes' way right at the end of the first half. To send the Hawkeyes into the locker room with the lead they have right now. Here's Johnson. Larry. Brought down. Right before half. That's why this is such a critical drive for Penn State right here. There's Larry Johnson on the run, breaking a couple of times up to the right of Mills. Pass incomplete and 10 to 10 for Banks. Rolls of the ball to 36 for the offense. Flag down. Little waggle. Banks. Picked off by number 23, Sean Mayer. And there is a flag down, and that's Banks' first interception of the season. Uh, Brad Banks right here. Two things. One, the confidence of the Iowa coaches, but also right here, maybe just a little bit greedy. I see what he sees. The, the receiver has inside position, but I also see how much he could have gained by just being conservative and running that football. Mention Iowa. Open. Third down and nine. Mills for Johnson. Complete at the 32-yard line. Tony Johnson. Here. This picture speaks for itself. Tony Johnson, great concentration right there. McHugh and Johnson lining up out of the eye. Mills going up top. Complete to Brian Johnson at the two-yard line. He was working on. They did score the touchdown on. Not the same route, but basically the same concept of, once again, Zach Mills under-throwing the ball and Brian Johnson coming back for it. Mark Mike Robinson not in the game. Mills keeps it. Stopped up just short of the end zone. Out of the eye. Larry Johnson. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Mark, go back to the turnover. It's blocked. And a chance maybe for the score off the extra point. It's D.J. Johnson. No flags on the play. A little bubble screen. Brown brought down it for Iowa. It looks like pass. Banks pulled it back and then hit Dallas Clark complete. For the first down, Jamel Lewis now, the deep back in the offset eye. Banks tucks it under. Steps out of bounds at the Fertes, the lone back. And keep him happy and give it to the fullback. Third and four for Iowa. Complete for the first down. Brown still on his feet. Nobody between him and the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. 54 yards for the score. Incredible. He makes the impossible seem possible, doesn't he? Makes miracles happen. Man. <laughs> First down and 10. Penn State looking for a minor miracle here. Mills into traffic, and what a grab by Brian Johnson. You're going to see Chris Mills take a shot right here by Fred Barr. Just launches the football up, and that picture speaks for itself. Brian Johnson, an unbelievable play of going up between two defenders right there. 
catching the ball at its highest point, and he bailed Zach Mills and this offensive Penn State football team out on that play. For the third time today, he's gone up like that and caught a ball. Here's Larry Johnson trying to get to the edge. Johnson run out of bounds. Brian Johnson complete down to the 33 yard line. Second down and 15. Incomplete. 35 to 13. Mills with plenty of time and then under pressure had to get rid of it. He was rocked by Matt Rock. Perfect on the season so far. Here's the punt from Royer. Tries to hang it up. This one will be down at the one yard line. A 37 yard punt for so this week. Russell dashing the middle line. Jones in motion. Banks complete. First down, Iowa at the 19 yard line. job today. First down and 10. Russell cuts it back. Four. Russell again. Two tights and two wideouts. A single back set. The waggle. Banks escaping harm's way and then overthrew Clark. That was his first incompletion in six attempts. Russell put it on spin cycles. Banks sacked and a flag down at the 23 yard line. Michael Haynes and Tim Falls combining to make the stop. And it's going to be a result. Banks almost picked off by Brian Scott who trail 35 to 13. Mike Robinson, one of the few carries from Zach Mills today. Mills almost sacked and incomplete at the 35. Jared Cross. Boyer gets off a high spiral. Hinkle at the 35. Hinkle. Got a block. Got Royer to beat. Hinkle all the way back to the 10 yard line. First and 10 from the 12. Russell. Over the left side. Incomplete and picked off. Brian Scott with his first interception off of the hands of Dallas Clark. 13 off the interception. Mills sacked back at the 10-yard line. Let's take one more look at that interception by Brian Johnson. Mark, you never know when momentum's going to come your way. Iowa had all the momentum. They have a great call. The, the tight end option route, fullback in the flat, they get man-to-man -man coverage. It's drawn up perfectly for Iowa. They throw the football wide open. You see his shoe come off. The tight end, Dallas Clark's shoe comes off. He slips and falls which results in an interception right there for Brian Scott. So sometimes you have good luck, sometimes you have bad luck. You see his shoe right there at the top of the screen and a great interception by Brian Scott. That was Clark uh, blown a tire at the wrong time. Second down and 18, Mills. Picked off. And this is coming back to the one yard line, Jay Johnson. The 5'9 freshman picks off Mills and takes it off. Banks hands it off to Russell. And it's on the ground. Penn State saying they have it. Still waiting for the official signal and now it comes. Nittany Lions get it right back. One play later. You know exactly play. Michael Haynes coming from the top of your screen right here gets a hand on the football and dislodges the football away from Fred Russell. The ball's batted up in the air and Penn State still has life. That's twice now on success. Right there. Drives. You see Michael Haynes yep. strips the football out of the Mills. Mills out of the end zone. Incomplete. Third down and six. 
Mills off the mark, and he had Bryant Johnson wide open. What a the tailback. That's Lewis. Over the right side, got a nice seam all the way down to the 43 yards at Iowa. A real rock up front for them. Here's Jermel Lewis again, bouncing it outside. Into the post, big 10 away game. Third and nine. Underneath. That's Jones going east-west and paid a price. Iowa defense has stepped up, and that was an area of concern coming in. Bradley with a high punt. Eight yard line. Now Mark Jones along with Bob Davey and Holly Rowe down in the field. A surprise brewing today. Here's Larry Johnson on the screen. Johnson brought down after a nice pickup out to the 33 yard line. Zach Mills, but more importantly, trying to get Zach Mills some confidence back. They may not come back in this football game, but they go to Wisconsin next week. So you're trying to get Zach Productive Mills. As they, have, as they have been coming in. Wide open, Casey Williams, the tight end, all the way down to the 48. That's enough negatives to, to bring that football team back to reality. Here's the screen pass to Johnson. Got a good block on the kick out. Johnson, touchdown, Penn State. Mark, think of the last four throws that Fran Ganner has had Zach Mills make. They've all been, you're going to see the delayed screen right here. And this screen is great against zone teams that get depth. Larry Johnson sneaks out of the backfield. It's a, the old-fashioned delayed screen. He makes a play happen down the sidelines. You're going to see a nice stiff arm coming up here on your screen where he takes the young freshman, Antoine Allen. Well executed play. Two of those plays in this drive by Penn State. And right here, you are going to see Larry Johnson, who's been in that weight room, stick it in the face of Antoine Allen. It's funny. You look at that straight arm, the stiff arm. Johnson is a huge fan of the old school football guys. Back out of the eye. And it's Russell again. They've been feasting on a steady diet of Fred. Turned out to be a good move. Second down and nine. Russell stopped on a dime, but didn't get any change. Right here, and stops the running back before he can get started. You see Ronald Gardner from the top of jailbreak screen football team. Thanks. Going to try and keep it himself and do it himself, but can. And he shanks it at the worst possible time. Down at the 45 over the Hawkeyes. And the team come back from a 22-point fourth-quarter deficit. Touchdown! 44 yards! Mark, go back to several things in this football game. Fran Ganner getting Zach Mills' confidence back by the short control passing game. This is the best football he has thrown all day. The home run over the top to Tony Johnson. But I go back to Fran Ganner giving him confidence early in the football game. You see Tony Johnson up over the top, but a great throw on the freshman Jovan Johnson, the corner. And the Nittany Lions are going to fake it. And they get the two-point conversion. Chris Gantner. Frank Gantner's son running it in. And him on the post. And a great throw by Zach Mills right here. But you see the safety sucking up. Tony Johnson in behind him for a huge touchdown. With 3.46 to go and up by seven. The quarterback hands it off. Russell stopped up at the 20. Reese, it's getting hot in here. They run the zone play. The bread and butter run is in motion. He's going to run it himself. Going to try and do it himself. Brad Banks got the first down. down. Russell. Sammy ran it for the first down, but a little more to go this time. Banks. Wisely throws it out of bounds. And Penn State's going to get another opportunity. First and 10, Zach Mills' confidence burgeoning right now. Continuing to grow. Play fake. Mills complete to Larry Johnson. 
And a first down at the 46-yard line. Penn State with Mills right here in this late-game situation. First and 10, Mills finds the tight end, Casey Williams. Another first down to the 23. Second down and 10. The slant complete. Johnson with a first coaching. First and goal for Zach Mills and the Nittany line offense. The fade. Oh, touchdown! Brian Johnson! We'll see Iowa, who is not a blitzing team. They bring Pego the free safety up. Zach Mills checked to one-on-one -on -one coverage. They go up top to Brian Johnson, and he goes up and just plays basketball and climbs over the top of the corner for the touchdown. What a great effort by Brian Johnson. We've seen it all day. We see it again. Him going over top of the corner. Jovan Johnson, the true freshman. Joe Paterno still with a lot of fire in the furnace. Joe told us he had to see if they can have a positive play here before they make that decision. Banks on first and ten. Cervantes dropped it. With a trip to right formation, Banks uh, to take off on the draw. But a nice block from the fullback Cervantes and got the first down. Banks almost intercepted by number 37 back there in the backfield. And they give it to him. Just the second time they've given it to him. To in really all phases right. of this game. And for Penn State to come back, aided by those two missed scoring opportunities by Iowa, gives Zach Mills and Penn State a lot of credit. Well, that's why the number seven jersey is the most popular selling jersey in the entire area. We'll be back over to 15. Penn State coming with a blitz. Complete. At the 19-yard line to Maurice Brown. Passing situation. Mo Brown runs the out cut. Cut. I'm not sure he had possession of that football. Cervantes and Russell out of the eye. There's the jailbreak screen. Brown. And now Jones in the red zone. Banks to Jones. Incomplete. Banks. Touchdown, Jones. The moxie, the poise, the depth touch of Brad Banks gives Iowa the lead. Larry Johnson to loan back. Little screen pass to Johnson. Johnson with a nice gain and a first down. Out of the backfield, Johnson. Mills under pressure. They're going to say it's out of bounds. Intended for Tony Johnson. And he simply got rid of the ball late. Ooh, that was, that was a close. great effort right there. Very close by Tony Johnson. We're going to get another look at it as we freeze it, try to freeze it. I'm not sure he had possession of that football. Did a great job trying to get those feet down. Third and eight. Mike Robinson in the ball game. They fake it to him. And a great open field tackle that time. Field. They have thrown the football to Michael Robinson out of the backfield. Mills looks the other way. Incomplete. That's the ball game. The Hawkeyes storm into Happy Valley and steal one from the Nittany Lions in overtime. They withstood an incredible 23-point comeback by Penn State to hang on. And they've now won three consecutive times, four out of five, against Penn State. Give credit to both football teams. Iowa dominated action through three quarters of this game.